Imagine traveling the world sitting in first class. Imagine getting a promotion after everyone in the company doubted you. Imagine winning the lottery and going shopping the next day. Imagine getting the Nobel Peace Prize for something you are passionate about. Imagine standing on a stage and talking for five minutes to a crowd of absolute strangers who you've never seen before. Oh wait, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> I've tried my best not to be nervous. I imagined myself, calm as can be, standing up here, chatting away with each and every one of you. But to be honest, walking past all those little kids backstage who are just as talented as me made me even more nervous. When I was a little kid, I was playing in the dirt with my best friend and my insane collection of Barbie dolls. These kids are standing on this very same stage, sharing impactful stories and lessons that they each have gone through and have experienced. The only talk I could give when I was younger would probably have been how to braid Barbie hair 101. <laughs> you know, you take three strands, you cross left over right, and actually, Never mind. I think I'll save that one for another day. When I was a little kid, I spent my days imagining the impossible. I even imagined that I could fly. Yes, that's right, fly. Don't try this at home, but one day I took my pink razor scooter and pushed it all the way to the top of my very steep driveway, said a quick prayer, buckled my butterfly helmet, and took off before my life flashed before my eyes. I thought I had just done the impossible. But right when I was about to stick the landing, one of my light-up wheels hit a small rock and I went catapulting over my streamer handlebars. We all know what happened next. I got carried inside, branded with a Hello Kitty Band-Aid, and cheered up with a push pop. I swear, those things were the way to my heart growing up. It's important to imagine ideas that don't even seem real, but when you're sitting on the couch with your Hello Kitty Band-Aid and Push Pop, realizing that you just attempted flying, that's when it's okay to reel it back a little, folks. <laughs> but even after realizing that I would never be able to fly, I didn't stop imagining. After that day, I imagined what middle school and high school would be like. I imagined how many pets I would have in the next 10 years. Jokes on my younger self, I got stuck with a single goldfish. <laughs> but the truth is, I never stopped imagining, and I think that the older you get, the less you tend to imagine. And the actual truth is, we can't create a better society or a better future unless we imagine it first. Think of some of the most creative people in the world who are fueled by their very own imagination. Martin Luther King Jr., Amelia Earhart, Walt Disney, and even Elon Musk. Martin Luther King Jr. had a very, very powerful dream and vision that he shared with others. Amelia Earhart visioned flying around the world and became the pioneer for female pilots. Walt Disney literally created the happiest place on earth. And even Elon Musk is modernizing the world left and right with electric cars and even SpaceX. And all those people had one thing in common. They imagined their goals and dreams first. Everything I said in the beginning could actually come true for each and every one of you. You could travel the world sitting in first class. You could get a promotion that everyone thought would never happen. You could win the lottery and go shopping the next day. You could get the Nobel Peace Prize, and you could even give a TED Talk just like me one day. I've spent the last few months preparing for this very moment, imagining what it would be like to stand on this stage and talk for five minutes to a crowd of absolute strangers who I've never seen before. Now that it's actually happening, I don't have to imagine this day anymore. But I'm not going to stop imagining. Next, maybe I'll imagine what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. 
I can see the five-layer cheesy lasagna. I can taste the crispy garlic bread. And I can hear the sound of forks scraping the bottom of empty plates. Or maybe I'll imagine what life is going to be like in college next year in Oregon. I can see the 150-foot pine trees towering over me. I can feel the raindrops falling on my face and I can hear the noise of the football crowd coming from Autzen Stadium. Or maybe I'll imagine who I want to become 50 years from now. I can see myself sitting on the couch sharing stories of the long life that I will have lived. I can feel the love in the room, and I can hear the voice of my grandpa reminding me that a lot of the joy is in the journey itself and not just the destination. I've tried my best to imagine the impossible. And I think that when you imagine the impossible, you can get super close to actually doing the impossible. Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world.